Well, after being named Miss Hendersonville in Tennessee, our next guest thought it might be fun to start a pageant for the special needs kids that she worked with at her school. Her idea now raises money for a worthy cause and self-esteem for some incredible kids. And it's earned her our crown as this week's Huck's Hero. Hi, my name is Mary Grace Beasley and I am the founder of the Sparkle Pageant. The Sparkle Pageant is an event for children and teens with special disabilities. The contestants absolutely love walking on stage and competing in this pageant. I think it's such a great confidence booster. Collectively with all the volunteers, we have spent countless hours putting these pageants together. I know that the students spend time in school and out of school helping. We have tons of parents helping outside of their work schedule. It takes a village to put on the Sparkle Pageant. From just down the road, our Huckabee Studios, I mean literally down the road, I want us to welcome Mary Grace Beasley. Mary Grace, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. We're excited about what you're doing with these special needs kids. Now, did you grow up kind of in a pageant family or in the whole pageant world? Not really. Um, someone told me that I should compete in this local pageant, and I did, and that's kind of how the idea came about to have this pageant for children with special disabilities. But you know, most people, when they get into the pageant world, it's all about them, and what you've done is said, it's all about these kids that maybe don't ever think they could be in a pageant. Yes, so exactly. Um, when I was in high school, I was really involved with the Hand in Hand program at Pope John Paul II High School. And one of the little girls that I helped, her name was Bella. She was a lot like me. She liked to dress up and she loved to show me this photo of herself with a crown. So after I had competed in this local pageant, I was like, wouldn't it be awesome if we could have a pageant for girls and boys like Isabella? That is so cool. And it's gotta be a, a wonderful experience for these kids. That, that may have thought, well, yeah. I'll never be able to be in a pageant. Yeah. So tell me about some of the, the kids that you have been able to work with and what it has done to light up their life when they get to be a part of the Sparkle pageant. Yes, so I think it's actually really cool to see. Um, our participants, they go on the stage and some of them are just, they're already born full of confidence. Hmm. But some of the other ones, they're a little shy and they're a little timid, but with the audience applauding for them, knowing that their family and all of their close supporters are out in the crowd, they just grow in confidence and become more comfortable on stage. Uh, I'm so proud of you. What you're doing is a beautiful thing and you're giving attention to children that deserve the attention and are some of our most special resources and wonderful blessings people that we ever see with love and, and absolutely no animosity, no hate, uh, nothing in their hearts. We need to elevate their lives. Mary Grace, thank you. And that's why you are our Huck's hero tonight. And thank you for being here. You're in the neighborhood. Come by and see us more often, okay? Yes, sir. All right, we'd love to see you. Mary Grace Beasley and the Sparkle Pageant. Now, if you're in the Nashville area, this year's Sparkle Pageant is gonna be held May the 1st at Pope John Paul II High School in Hendersonville, right here where our theater is. For tickets or to learn more, maybe to support the Sparkle Pageant, visit the Sparkle Pageant page on Facebook.